Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video we are going to discuss about pooling in CNN. So uh, before jumping on to the pooling in CNN, I would like to recap few of the concepts that we have covered in our previous videos. So first of all, I would like to discuss about convolution operation. Convolution operation uh, is nothing but is applying filter over the image, which is if we talk about visually, it would appear something like this, that we have some input image and one filter is kind of uh, slide through that particular image and generate a new feature map. So, and technically it would be doing something like this calculation that we have covered in our previous video. So here you can see that one filter is sliding through and it generates a new convolved feature. And the same is happening here. Uh, here we are, uh, we have this one filter, which is kind of rectangular box sliding through this image and generates a new feature map. So this is convolution operation, visually how it works. Now, uh, I want to take you through few of the effects that we use in our daily life with the help of our, uh, you know, different camera apps. So we apply different type of filters. So filters can... Uh, give different touch to our images so filter can sharpen our images filter can uh, blur our images and filter can do different type of things with our particular images so how do filters do these things let me show it to you so uh, the effect of filters if i show you so um, there are different type of filters of labor and you can create your own filter as well so here you can see that if i talk about this one if I select this pen and so talk about this one, so let's say this first one is my identity operation and identity operation is like the people who are uh, aware about the matrix, uh, so they will be able to make sense to this. Identity matrix is like where we have only one uh, at the center and rest all there are zeros. And if we apply such filter on any particular image, we get something like this of uh, this type of image. The same way there are different type of filters which generally can be used for as detection. So here you can see that let's say if in this particular image, let's say if I have to detect the as of the ear of this particular animal, so we can use this type of filter. And definitely we do not have to, you know, uh, kind of keep them into our memory in our mind we do not have to um, remind them so it, these are kind of uh, automatically uh, trained by our convolution neural network i'm just showing few examples to you and the same way let's say if i have to sharpen my image so if we apply this particular image to an image then we can get this sort of filter which is kind of sharpening the features of a particular image and the box blur is this this filter so if i apply the um, box blur filter my image will get something this sort of this sort of effect the same way this is the another uh, blur which is basically gaussian blur so the idea here is that we apply filters and we kind of generate different type of effect on our uh, uh, images so the, now moving on to the next part is uh, next part is i want to take you through the complete cnn visualization how a particular convolution neural network architecture looks like so uh, for this let me take you through this image so there are basically this is how uh, basically convolution neural network work uh, looks like so this is my particular in input image and then this this one is my first convolution and relu relu is my activation function so basically in this in this particular layer what we are doing we are performing convolution operation and applying activation function then we are doing pooling pooling we will discuss in in a while and then again we are doing convolution and relu operation then we are doing pooling again and then we have the fully connected layers fully connected layers are nothing but uh, they are kind of uh, here we have all Till this part, till this part, when we are doing convolution and operation, so we have this particular basically, uh, we have basically uh, these till here we have multi-dimensional matrices. But in fully connected, what we do, we kind of convert those fully connected, uh, con convert those multi-dimensional matrices into uh, kind of one-dimensional, and we connect. Uh, each neuron with each another neuron in the next layer. So this is something, this part is something similar to the artificial neural network. Now, 
moving on to the pulling part pulling is nothing but pulling is something uh, so when we get when we apply filter and we get the convolved feature so after getting the convolved feature we apply the pulling so here you can see that we here we are applying the pulling so here you can see that we are applying the pulling part here and pulling is nothing but it is kind of a, a technique with which we reduces the dimensionality of each feature map but retains the most of the most important information pulling can be of different type max average and sum so in case of max so let me show it with an example so in case of max what we happen what happens is let this is my feature map and if i apply uh, max pulling over here so inside max pulling so this is what we do is when we apply a max pulling so uh, what we do in max pulling is we kind of pick the maximum value of that particular from that particular region so from here out of these four values one one and five and six what we are getting is six is my maximum value six is my maximum value the same way from this box uh, two four seven eight the second box two four seven eight and the maximum value is my eight and the same way uh, from this box we have three and from this last box this one we have four as maximum value so uh, what we'll do in maximum pulling is in maximum pulling we get the mm, the prominent feature out of the image and we select that particular uh, we select that particular feature so let's say in a, my particular image my eyes are prominently appearing or in a particular subsection of the image my eyes are clearly appearing so uh, by doing the max pulling i will be picking and the eyes portion from that particular image so this is about the pulling and there are few benefits of uh, applying the pulling so there are few benefits and the benefits are like it reduces the computation and dimension since we uh, reduces the dimension so let's say this is my feature map and i am reducing it to um, this size so but i am not losing any information here so here you can see that this is my feature size and if i am getting this information and which is conveying the same information so it means that i am not losing any information but reduces the dimension and reducing the dimension means uh, it is the less computation power is required and when there are reducing uh, less parameter we reduces the chances of overfitting as well and model becomes tolerant towards the variation and distortion so these are the few uh, benefits of pulling and that's all about this video guys uh, see you in the next one thanks for watching